Well, we are joined by CNBC Africa's Karabal Etlatha uh, to reflect on uh, some of the big takeaways from uh, South Africa's inaugural investment conference. Uh, to start off with, uh, uh, let's uh, start with a brief listen at, at uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa's uh, closing speech. We want to make our business people heroes. Let us see the business people who are here as heroes because they are here to develop and grow our economy. I want to end by thanking Jack Ma for having taken all the trouble to come here. And I'd like Jack to present you with a truly South Africa made uh, present, which I'd like to see you one day on television having in your hand. <laughs> so here is a wonderful bag that is made here in South Africa. We'll and with that, well, here he goes. He says he will sell it on Alibaba. <laughs> and uh, just as a takeaway, as a takeaway, Jack Ma, as I end, Alibaba has this system. They call it the Systems Double uh, Festival or something. Yeah. Singles Day. Singles Day, yeah, sorry. The Singles Day, where they came up with the process where they say s people who are single uh, they need to give them a day when they will just shop. They must just go shopping because rather than complaining and feeling depressed and sad about being single, let them go shopping. So they have now agreed, Alibaba has agreed to put South Africa on that platform on Singles Day we are now, as South Africa, going to have a video, which I recorded, to invite the people who trade on the Alibaba platform, the Chinese people mainly, and many other people around the world, to see a short video that we did on South Africa and inviting people to buy South African products. And in addition, we are going to allow South Africans to trade some products on that singles day. So that's going to be phenomenal. So we look forward to that. And with this, our partnership with Alibaba and with Jack Ma then starts. It's going to finally evolve in the training of young people, uh, which they are still considering. I have asked him, and Jack, this is a presidential request presidential request that we should have here in South Africa, a training hub for the young people of South Africa to be as great entrepreneurs as you and your 18 other entrepreneurs who started Alibaba. There we have it. Now to unpack the inaugural conference, uh, which saw big companies pledging investments to tune to a tune of a billion, uh, billions of rands. Uh, we're joined by Karabo Litlatha in the studio, who, is, uh, at, who actually attended the conference, Karabo. I saw you nodding uh, very uh, uh, extravagantly, should I say, uh, at the, uh, the mention of uh, Singles Day. The president's PR machinery is <laughs> on this level. I mean, it's really unbelievable what he's been able to do with Jack Ma. But I, I think that's what I found a lot of. I mean, I know a lot of people really speak about their interaction with this president in particular. Mm. You get a sense that Corporate South Africa and South Africa Inc. had pretty much agreed that the political uncertainty and the way things were going during the Jacob Zuma administration will lead them not to put their hand in their pocket. But now, all of a sudden, latent capital is coming out of everywhere and to the tune of 290 billion. Sure, not all of it was new, but there is a lot there still of new capital, especially when you think about the fact that, you know, Anglo-American is throwing some 71.5 billion into the I'm, ground. I'm, 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 I'm very fascinated by some of the figures here. I'm mm -hmm. looking at Anglo-American, uh, 6 billion by 2022, NASPERS, uh, 314 million. This is all in dollars. Uh, we're looking at uh, uh, Bushveld uh, Minerals, 170 million, Nestle, South Africa, 45 million. Some, some huge figures here. Uh, Look, and, it's, out there. and it's not just a certain sector per se. I mean, mm. we're attracting new players. You know, I had a chat with uh, one of the best known African uh, uh, entrepreneurs, Strive Masiwa, uh, the Zimbabwean born Strive Masiwa, who is now a global figure really in the telecom space. And he really talks about the fact that he will be bringing his own billion dollars worth of investments in South Africa that is already up to 10 million rand so 
far with a threshold of 18 billion rands. So that's a man who's really looking at Africa as a growth note, and he really, I mean, one of the things that Strive Masiwa speaks about is enlightened regulation, and he says therein is the the ability of Africa to really change the narrative, to catch up with this fourth industrial revolution, mm. make sure that we don't lose out as we did in the first three. It's, it's very fascinating. You actually uh, do bring uh, a strive mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to the party here. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, Econet, uh, founder chairman. But uh, what strikes me here is the need for a going concern. Mm. Uh, what makes the likes of the U.S. attractive as an investment destination is you do know, regardless of someone tweeting away every night, mm -hmm. there is a sort of a going concern as opposed to a country like Tanzania. Mm -hmm. And who's to say that, uh, well, after uh, 10 years, we will still have that sentiment mm. that uh, President Ramaphosa has actually brought Will it be here 10 years now? And for me, this is one of the things that I wanted to find out from all those entrepreneurs and business people, that is this relationship bigger than just Cyril Ramaphosa? I mean, God forbid something happens to, God, to Cyril Ramaphosa. Mm. Will we still have the same kind of certainty and, and buy-in that we have mm. seen from players? And for me, this is... This is like a big thing, because let's not forget, I mean, BLSA, we kept on talking about South Africa, that South African companies are sitting on capital, that they're hoarding capital, and BLSA commissioned a study which says that South African investors and businesses are not sitting on capital. All of a sudden, you're, all of a Friday, you're at an investment conference, 290 billion comes out. It's very hard not to think that there was that there was a bit of politicking by business too, maybe in mm. their own interest and interest of shareholders, to want to see a new political dispensation and to want to do away with some of the uncertainties that we've seen in the past. Now, on Friday, I spoke to the outgoing chairperson of uh, the outgoing CEO, rather, of Investec, Stephen Kosev. He calls himself Stephen from Benoni. Nobody calls him that. There's a Stephen in Benoni, but he's not it. But I asked him that, and that was among my first question. Is this proof? that South African companies have been sitting on capital. And this is what he had to say. I don't believe they're sitting on too much capital, but you know, they will start investing if they get policy certainty. I think what the president tried to do today mm -hmm. was you know, give a bit more policy certainty. And I think he's been trying to do that over the last few months with the, you know, the, the new mining charter, mm -hmm. uh, the, the change in narrative on land reform and how he's going to implement land reform. Today he spoke about security of property rights. Those are important things for people to understand mm -hmm. before they invest, locals or international. Mm -hmm. Right, Karabo, uh, many thanks for that. I think in, in just two words, uh, what is President Ramaphosa's uh, strongest selling point? I don't know. I think that man's got business swag. Eh? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> talks about him like, no, 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 no. In fact, I mean, listen to what Jack Ma says. Jack Ma simply says that... <laughs> In the first three minutes, he knew that this is a man he can do business with. Strive Masiwa echoed the same kind of sentiment. Sure, Stephen Kosev, you know, is not, it's not exactly easily swayed. He's been in the South African <laughs> business landscape for a while. But there's a lot of confidence that these businesses are placing with the man that, for me, I wonder, you know, like, if... If he was not the president, yeah. <laughs> would we? I mean, if David Mabuza was the president today, <laughs> would we still see this Carabo kind no. of, you know, no. enthusiasm? Uh, Karabo, more on that definitely <laughs> uh, with our political uh, correspondent, Karabo Letlatla.